What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Stephanie, and welcome to another episode of The Good, The Bad, and The Trendy, the show where you try out new, strange, and innovative products. Today, we are testing out the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I've actually had this powder for a couple months now, but I never use it because I wanted to try it for the first time on camera. And what's interesting about this product is that it is made up of 50% water. So on the packaging, it says, an ultra translucent refreshing powder that dusts on like a mist. Formulated with 50% water, this powder makes skin look awakened and fresh upon application apply throughout the day to refresh and rejuvenate makeup so from what i saw online this product is supposed to be good for all skin types even dry skin because i know a lot of times these kind of powders just really collect in dry patches i have combination skin so i have some dry areas but i also have just like a really oily area too so i use a lot of powders to help make that oil stay inside not seep out throughout the day so we're definitely going to be putting that to the test and it's also like i said supposed to be good for all skin tones i was reading sephora reviews and girls with deeper skin tones were saying that this works out for them too so before we get into it if you haven't already please make sure to subscribe below come join the sisterhood no matter your true pronoun or gender identity come join the family all right let's get started just to prove i haven't used this yet <laughs> it is all sealed up there, so I'm gonna open this up. Ooh, it's always a little scary. Ooh. Oh wow, it has like a really fine mesh. Ooh, it is very silky, very smooth. Whoa, it does feel cooling. That is trippy. Even my finger is very, very smooth right now. I'm just gonna grab this brush here. It is a Morphe M581. I really didn't know like what kind of brush I should apply this with, so I thought this would be a good one. I'm gonna go ahead and just pretty much apply it all over my face. So I'm just gonna grab some from here, I guess. It's a very bouncy mesh. Oh, it is so cold. That is really, really weird, y'all. I also don't know if this is the kind of powder that you can bake with. I'm assuming not, because it seems actually a bit too fine to like catch onto a beauty blender and, and bake. I did put a little bit of um, powder underneath my eyes. I baked like just for like a one minute with my Laura Mercier, uh, because I just wanted to make this like a realistic uh, review for myself because I would never just use a powder without baking beforehand So typically what I do is I do like concealer and then I'll put on I'll bake a little bit And then I have like a finishing powder that I put all over my face. So this is what I would use this product for Let me know if you've baked with it though because I didn't see anything online uh, With anybody saying that they were doing that, but this is crazy. This is like very very cooling to the touch I honestly can't describe this. It just, it feels like it's like somehow turning liquidy, but it's obviously not. It's just very cooling. And I think this is the kind of product that I would really like to use now because since I've been getting more sun, uh, my like powder is not matching me well at all. Even my foundation is not matching me that well, but I'm just kind of working with it. Um, but I just think that this would be a good alternative So it's kind of like a universal sheer color that I could use from what I'm seeing everything looks nice and matte and smooth And just very even sometimes these powders just can you know catch on concealers collect in different places But it looks very very seamless. It's the kind of thing that I feel like I can really tell the difference But maybe it's not really capturing on camera too well, but hopefully you trust my opinion. So today I actually have a lot of stuff I'm doing. It's a little bit later in the day already, but I have to film another video. I'm packing because I'm leaving for Japan in the morning and I just have a bunch of like random errands I need to do before leaving. So I will definitely check in with y'all in a second. It's been a couple hours. Just filmed the summer beauty haul. Obviously I put on bronzer, blush, highlighter, on top of the powder. Everything went on very beautifully, no patchiness at all. Also, if you can hear it, just turn on the air conditioning. When I film, I typically turn it off. So for the last couple hours, it has been off and my place went up to 77 degrees, which while you're filming and talking, <laughs> that's pretty hot. So when I film, I typically get a little bit sweaty. And for some reason, even if it's very cold, I start producing a lot more oils. Maybe it's just because I'm animated and I'm talking a lot. I don't know why, but whenever I film myself, especially longer videos like this one, I get very oily. 
But right now, it's looking pretty good. I think I am a little bit oilier than if I were to just be like sitting around, but it looks nice. I'm gonna be doing some more work, maybe go out to dinner, and then I will check back in. Hello everyone, it has now been about eight, eight or nine hours actually since I have had this powder on. It's looking pretty good. I went out, did a bunch of errands, went and ate dinner, and my skin is looking really nice. It's not oily at all. It just has like a very natural glow, but I don't look oil slick in any way. And I just feel like my makeup looks really nice. There's no separation, no cracking at all. I'm really into this powder. Let me just reapply a little bit just to see how it looks. Ooh. I don't even think I need it though. Oh, it's actually really nice and cool. It's quite hot in LA right now, even at night. I don't know if you can tell from this lighting, but let's see if it mattifies a bit. I feel like it locked in what I had on really well. So with all that said, I think y'all already know, I think that this product is good. All right, y'all, that is it for this episode of The Good, The Bad, and The Trendy. If you liked it, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood. I love y'all, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.